Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a random AI roam, so it just moves to random locations with, with random intervals each time around your level in a place you designate it to go. So let's get straight into it. So what we're going to start off with is creating the actual AI itself. So to do this, we're just going to duplicate the uh, third person character here. So mine's third person, yours might be first person. Whichever one, you just duplicate the character. So that's in third person BP, blueprints, and a third person character. So select that, hit Control C, and then go back to content, and I'm going to make a new folder, so right click, new folder, and I'm going to call this AI, open that up, and then just simply hit Control V to paste that in there, and I'm just going to name this AI character, and you do that by selecting it and pressing F2, or right click and rename. So I'm going to open that up, like so, and then we don't need any of this, but we can keep it, so we'll keep it, but we don't need to change it or anything. And we'll just go down here, find some space, and get an event tick node, like so. And all of this, we're going to drag off and get a delay, like this. And you can set this to a base value of 1 or 2 seconds, like that. But I'm going to have it with random intervals each time, so I'm going to drag off the duration and get a random float in range, like so. And I want it to be between 1 and 5 seconds like that, so min, one, max, five, and have that plugged into the delay like so. And then we're gonna to want to make a variable, so in the bottom left down here, we're gonna press the plus button on the variables, and we're gonna call this is moving question mark, or is moving, or moving question mark, whatever you want, and make sure that's of type boolean. And then we're gonna just drag and drop that in after the delay, and do set is moving, plug that in, and we're gonna set it to true, like so. And then off of that set, we're going to get, an, we're going to drag off and get an AI move to, and you want it to be this one here, the little white box that left of it, like so. So you get that. And then for the pawn, we're just going to get a reference to self, like so. Plug that in there, like that. And then for the destination, we're going to drag off there for the vector node, and it's get random reachable points in radius. Make sure it's the bottom one there, not the top. Navigationable, we want it to be reachable so that it takes into account all the collision and all the stuff like that. So it's an actual place the character and the AI can both get to. So it's not like stuck up in a tree or halfway through a wall or something. It's an actual reachable place you can get to. So make sure you get that. And then for the origin, that's basically the center of the circle of which the AI can move in. So the origin, we just want to be where the character is itself. So the AI can move in a certain radius around itself. So for the origin, we're just going to drag off and get actor location, which just gets the location of the AI character itself. Let's plug that in there. And then the radius, like I say, is just the size of the circle around the AI. So you can set this between 1,000 and 2,000, they're, they're good values. I'd say 1,000 probably a good minimum value, but for the level I'm in now, I'm going to set it to 1,500. So that should be that part done now. So now if we go back to the AI move to, and off on success, if we just set is moving, and set it to false like so, and plug that in the it on fail as well. So basically when it's finished getting to that place, it sets is moving to false. Or if it doesn't work, it also sets it to false so that you can then try again. So this should now be done. So if we compile this, and I'm also gonna write a comment on it so I know what it does. So just select it all and hit C, and then I'm gonna call this AI random roam, like so. And hit compile again, and then close this, and then we just simply drag it into the level, like so. And if we hit play, you'll see that it doesn't actually work because we haven't made the nav mesh bounds yet. So we haven't designated the space that the AI can actually move to. So if we get out of here, and then in the modes tab up at the top left here, if we just search for a nav mesh bounds volume, like so, and just put that in the level, then we get it centered to where we want, and just scale it up, like so, to how big we want. So I just want it to cover the whole level, and I'll make it big as well, so that it covers up on top of here too, like so. And then, then a good way to test it out to see where the AI can actually move to so see where the nav mesh bounds affects. If you press P, you can see the green area is where the AI can move to. So if I were to move this down, you see that that went red for a second as it was calculating. If I move it down again, this is no longer green, so it can't get up there now. 
if I just move this back up to where it was up here all this is green again so it can reach all these locations so it can go up the stairs, it can walk around here, it can stand on here and it can go around the whole area down here so I hit P again to take that off and now if we hit play you can see that it's waiting a random time and it moves to a random location it will wait again between 1 and 5 seconds and it will move to a random place again so it's gone up here, it waited and it came back down so you can see this now works perfectly he moves to a random location like so and then he waits a random time between 1 and 5 seconds before he moves to a new place like this so I think that will be it for this video we've got it to do everything we want it to do he's moving to random locations with random intervals in between each one and it works perfectly as well. and we set up the nav mesh bounce as well for a place for him to actually go so I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below and again if you want and if you want a tutorial on how to make the AI chase the player or anything like that leave your suggestions down in the comments down below and again like and subscribe it helps out more than you think so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one